Recently, Premier Kathleen Wynne's Liberal government finally came clean on one of the worst kept secrets in the gambling business. Namely, Pickering has been chosen for a huge new casino project. That's maybe some good news, but here's the really bad news. The Pickering Casino, called Durham Live, will likely result in the closure of the Slots Casino in nearby Ajax. And if that happens, it is almost inevitable that Ontario's quarter horse industry will be sent to the glue factory. But the question arises, why is all this being done in the first place? People in Ajax are fuming about the prospect of Ajax Downs closing down. Why indeed is nearby Pickering getting a shot in the arm at the expense of Ajax that sits just across the town line? For starters, many wonder if Pickering is truly the best locale for the Durham Live Mega Project, especially since the chosen site appears ill-equipped to handle increased traffic volume. And then there's the Quarter Horse track, racetrack that sits adjacent to the Ajax Casino. The Quarter Horse is an American breed that excels, as the name would imply, at running the quarter mile. But these horses will likely not be running at all or ever again if the horsemen don't receive a portion of the slots revenue from Ajax Downs, as is the case today. And if the Quarter Horse industry perishes in Ajax, this means the loss of about 1,700 jobs. And the town also stands to lose $8 million a year in property taxes. But the really unnerving aspect of the Pickering project is how it has been so shrouded in secrecy. In a recent Toronto Sun story, reporter Joe Warmington points out that even the mayor of Ajax, Steve Parrish, was not consulted about the impending casino switcheroo. Said Parrish of the Wynn Liberals, including local MPP Joe Dixon, quote, We thought we were dealing with professional people and that our plans to expand the existing casino would be given a full hearing. We have not been treated fairly, end quote. Indeed, Warmington notes that not once did Ajax Council or its mayor get a courtesy call from the Premier or a senior cabinet minister. Not once did provincial officials return any of his letters which addressed the concerns of many in this town of 110,000 residents. Now at a Doug Ford rally earlier this week in Ajax, I caught up with Ajax PC candidate Rod Phillips, who also happens to be a former CEO of the Ontario Lottery and Gaming Corporation. He told me that he plans to continue to fight for both the Ajax Casino and for some much needed disclosure from the Win Liberals. Assuming you form the government, is that deal scuttled or what's plan B? Well, you know, a deal done this late before an election, you have to ask the question, what's in that deal? And we don't know. And that's what's really troubling to people in Ajax is the way this was done. The fact that it was leaked, that it wasn't talked about, we heard about it in the newspaper first, and then it comes out in a press release from a casino company. But but you asked the right question, so, so we need to find out what's behind that, and I will find out that if I get elected. But we also need to talk about solutions. So yesterday, I uh, came out with the uh, quarter horse racing industry. They had put a proposal together that Doug and I think makes good sense. It's a proposal that includes seeing Ajax Downs as a site along with Pickering and there are some issues related to Pickering that have to be resolved around traffic and Ajax but there is no reason that we can't have those two sites coexisting. I'd use the example sometimes there's two restaurants owned by the same owner maybe one's a McDonald's and one's a keg um, and sometimes people feel like going to one restaurant and sometimes they feel like going to the other but they both can be successful. This all would work the OLG actually set up the system so that there would be four sites within the GTA there are currently only three so there is no reason that I can see that this can't work now, uh, Joe Dixon and Kathleen Wynne rejected that same proposal. Uh, they had gone to the government with that suggestion and it got thrown out. So we have that as an idea and what I've committed to is that I'll work tirelessly on any idea that makes sense and that quarter ice idea makes sense to see if we can keep Ajax Downs here. If we don't, the town loses $8 million, it's the end of quarter horse racing. You know, that's just a, not, a good enough, a, not a good enough answer for a government that cares about people. And you've heard that's what we care about people. Now, I also asked Phillips if there is indeed a way to get out of any pre-existing deals the Liberals may have already secretly signed with the developers of the Durham Live project. And Rod, uh, from what you know of any of the agreements, the contracts with Durham Live, 
Is there anything that's ironclad that you can't get out of, much like the 407 of yesteryear? You know, that's that's the million or maybe the hundred million dollar question. We don't know the answer. Um, we are all in the dark um, as people outside of government. Joe Dixon might know the answer to that question. Kathleen Wynne might know the answer to that question. If I get elected as MPP, I'll find out the answer to that question, and I'll make sure the people of Ajax know the answer. Now, after speaking with Phillips, we paid a visit to Ajax Downs. We asked various patrons what they thought about the casino gamble the Liberals are taking. A few are happy about the prospect of losing Ajax Downs and the horse racetrack if the Durham Live deal goes through as is. As you might know, there's that proposed mega casino going up in Pickering. Yeah. And the critics are saying that that might mean the closure of this facility and the track as early as next year. 1,700 jobs lost. What do you think about that? I don't think it's right. Forget about Pickwick or Pickering. Stay here. Okay, then. Really. Stay here. Uh -huh. I do. Well, that would be a really bad thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nobody, you know, I don't want anybody losing their jobs. I think you're right on my mind doing it. Is that right? Eh? Yes, it is. We tried Why hard that? to get it. We voted for it years ago. Oh. And it's, why ruin a good thing? Look how crowded it is. Yeah, indeed. Well, th well that, that's the nub of the argument that it'll mean the closure of this facility, the end of the quarter horse industry, and the loss of 1,700 jobs. I know that. I think it's criminal. I, I think it's criminal. Okay. Uh, I think they're out of their mind closing this. Okay, this is a money-making operation. Why would you close something that's making all that money? It's wrong. I think it's wrong. We should have been notified. It's changed. It's not the same. No. That's all, that's all wrong. Okay, these people are ra raising the fouls right now, and then okay, next uh, three, four years, they don't care about the small people. Not uh, uh, big corporations. Not it's that's all wrong. Do you think it's sad too that uh, this announcement seems to be pitting one community against another here in Durham region? Oh, yeah, it is. I, I have no respect for Pickering, yeah. for what they've done. I mean, why can't they work together? we got Ajax Pickering Hospital. Why don't we have Ajax Pickering Place? But without the province's blessing, nothing would be done. I, I guess, is that maybe who's to blame for this? Oh, yes. Well, yes. The Liberals are at blame, yes. You. you know, they, they've stolen so much, and now they're just going to try and finish the job. It doesn't sound like there's anything positive about this proposed project. No, there's, they're not, no. It's all positive for Pickering and that, right? But there's, they said they're going to share the money, but I, I don't know if that's going to happen. You know, it must be said that even though it was an unseasonably frosty April Wednesday evening, <laughs> this casino was jammed. It was actually hard to find a seat. Clearly, this casino is no money loser. There's also ample room for expansion. There's lots of free parking and there's superb road and highway access. And of course, there's the added value of that wonderful quarter horse racetrack too. In fact, it seems if you wanted to build a mega casino in the Durham region, the real estate Ajax Downs occupies is exactly where you'd put such a thing. So again, why are the Liberals so intent on trying to fix something that's not broken? And who really stands to gain from carrying out a malicious act against Ajax Downs? For now, everything is shrouded in mystery from a government that has long promised transparency, just like the deleted email scandal with regard to the cancelled gas plants that resulted in Liberal operative David Livingston receiving four months in the slammer. In the weeks ahead, as Liberals continue to desperately double down on stupid, with the taxpayer dollar no less, I suspect some answers will be forthcoming. There's a lot more to this gambit than meets the eye. Stay tuned. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, the Rebel has a brand new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.